Hey guys, my name's Aaron. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been with us for a while, you know we're pretty new to farming. We're pretty new to homesteading. Uh, but we're learning every day. So today I've got some sheep updates. It's all sheep today. We have painted desert sheep. We have them everywhere. We have like some teenage sheep over here. We have like the nursery over there. I've got to do some moving and if you have watched any of our videos you know that that's the second bane of my existence, catching sheep. A few weeks back we moved these sheep. Uh, we moved them into this, it's like a half acre paddock here and it is almost down to the ground if you can see their noses while they're eating uh, then the the grass is too too short and we're getting to that point you guys I'm gonna be fighting the wind this whole time so uh, these painted desert sheep are easy care when we are just simply moving them it's awesome but when we have to catch them it becomes a huge exercise in patience. My kids, as they know, dad has a tough time with it. If anything can make my life easier catching sheep, I want that tool. And I found the, the Kiwi Crook from Premier One. We're gonna see if it works, and I hope it does. I never thought owning sheep that I would have a shepherd's crook. I always thought that was only in the nativity. I didn't think they actually existed, but they do. This is our north field. So these are, this is kind of our nursery. We've been putting our premier fencing out here uh, to let them graze on new grass and we've been moving that frequently. Um, our, what we want to do is we want to get the new lamb. We'll go check that out over here. So we want to get this white U over with the other ones and Mama and Dot you see how cute she is we'll get them in the nursery with these other moms I've got a little lady following me around does dad get grumpy when we move sheep? You, sometimes you can be honest dad gets grumpy huh? Cross your fingers, pray for me. <laughs> you know, you can see we're all drying out here. We're supposed to get like three days of rain. And hopefully that'll help out our pastures. Elsa? So Rachel's got the camera right now. On a scale of one to 10, <laughs> how frustrating is catching sheep for me? Um, super duper whooper, you hate it. And it will bring the worst out of you. Alright, so this is it. <laughs> what is it? Like, this needs to work. Okay, what is this? It's called the Kiwi Crook. That'll be in the link below. Like, I hope, like, I just, I hope this works. I, we, it needs to work. <laughs> it would make your life easier, huh? We've seen a couple of other channels recommend this. It looks really easy to use. This side is supposedly for the neck, and I guess is mostly lamb size, but our sheep are not that big. They're probably on the smaller size, even as adults. Um, and then this other end is for the legs. So you're supposed to be able to catch their legs, and this will kind of keep them from backing out there. So. Wish us luck. Let's give us a go. I've got all my athletic gear on. <laughs> I said a serenity prayer. <laughs> Follow me. Oh yeah. You good? <laughs> You're so silly. Pull a groin. Uh, let's not do that. He hates catching the sheep. Just saying. Hates it. Sheep hurting. We got this. Look at that cute baby.
That crook only works if you can get close to the ship. <laughs> Cuss. He didn't. He was really good. Guys, painted desert sheep are the best sheep you can ever own. They totally are. Uh, except in times like this. It's just... <laughs> when you we, have to move them. We need a bucket train more often. Yeah. I think that's the key. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Anna was the easiest part. Yeah, she was easy. First, first half. <laughs> a little stressful. Herding sheep is a little stressful. <laughs> ah, it's done. Done. So all in all, how do you feel about today? Uh, I got my exercise in. <laughs> I accomplished my goal. I'm a champion. A out of shape champion. 